You guys, this is so fancy. I have such a mess. But don't worry, we'll work on that this week. Okay, so I'm getting ready to go down and chore. Um, so today I'm taking both the new Canon and the um, GJI because I'm going to try to get some different things um, shoot-wise, shot-wise, I don't know. Um, it is cold this morning. Don't mind my mess. And I have to walk because Jason left really, really early this morning. And he took the pickup. Yay me. So uh, we'll go get dressed for the winter arctic. Because it is currently, just look at the weather this morning. 17! Yay. Which is better than what's going to be later in the week because they're calling for like 5 and 0 and some snow Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So, alright, let's go get dressed. Okay, so again, I'm learning a new camera. So we're just playing. So I don't even know if you guys will see these shots or not. Um, I don't do a whole lot at the house just because it's kind of out of my comfort zone to video here at home. Uh, but the best part about winter choring is the fact that I can still wear my pajamas underneath my coveralls. And nobody has to know until I tell them that. I really need new coveralls and new insulated boots, but I'm hoping that I can make do for the end of this, this season before I have to, like, because, uh, not that you guys can really see because it's really dark. Can't find my hat. Guess I will also take the trash. Hmm. It's at least not too bad. The sun is shining. The sun feels really, really nice, actually. All right, come on. Okay, so it's been a while since I've had to walk to work. I forgot my hat. Oh well. If you are right. <sighs> so if you are new here, um, this is where, where we live and then I walk to the homestead where Jason's parents live and the hay barns are and the horse barn and all that stuff. It's about, I don't know, half a mile or so. Quarter mile, half a mile. Somewhere between those, that. And I walk it a lot during the summer months when it's hay season. <sighs> because we share the same vehicle. Absolutely gorgeous. A little frosty. <sighs> I'm really excited about this new camera, guys. Like, I wasn't real sure how like heavy it would be, like if it would like hurt my arm. But it's it's pretty lightweight. I think it's gonna be a good investment for us, for you guys. <sighs> All right, let's go. beautiful. I think this is what I'm most excited about is being able to zoom in. You guys are like children. Children. All right, let's go. This is on my to-do list. Organize this mineral 
business. I want to take my saddle home and I want to clean it up. And uh, maybe tomorrow I'll get this accomplished if I get enough things done at home. I'll reward myself with some barn time. Because I've been just leaving my feet out here for now. until she is uh, stopped um, nursing him, which will be about March when we'll do that. And then Rocky gets the impact too. And there's chickens. Hello. Hello. How are ya? Mm -hmm. You go outside today? You little rocky man. Hello, girlfriend. Here. Hello. Hello, pretty boy. Hi, Shiloh. Let me go get your feed. What do you think, buddy? Aren't you just the cutest little thing? <laughs> Come here. Check out the camera. He is getting so big. So big. I'm hoping in the next few weeks to get the barn a little bit more organized and uh, maybe be able to shut the door off so he can come out and romp and play. Because right now I just literally I feed Shiloh and then I let him out and he kind of just meranders around at will doing whatever. He just kind of does his own thing. Typical. Typical kid. Okay, so now we're going to walk down and drag hoses around because this one water line is froze underneath the ground. And we got to grind chicken feed tomorrow. So the corn showed up yesterday, which was really nice. We don't do any row cropping, just strictly hay. For any of you guys that are new, um, hay is our, hay is our life. And then cows, and then everything else. Hello, babies. So this is the water hose that's froze up, or water hydro that's froze up. So I'm having to drag it across. From the cattle barn. What do you think? Cows are just hanging out. I'm gonna go down and tie up these steers, these 4 H steers that we've got going on. The one's going to its new home today, so I only have Keaton's to mess with after today. Hello, babies. So we have Wayne, Princess, and Midnight. Quite the team, huh? And you got a little bit of a snotty nose, Midnight. I'll have to watch that.
may be wondering what's going on with these guys. So the kids are in market show 4-H. They have market steers. So Wayne will go down to Gracie in another county who's a cousin. And then Midnight is Keaton's market steer. And then we have Princess who doesn't have a lead line on yet. I'm just kind of letting her get used to the idea. Um, and then we have those fancy heifers in the back who are like the life blood of what's gonna be coming. I'm so excited about these girls. You guys have no idea. Um, they're fancy ladies. I need to have Jason come in and pull these gates down and um, take all this out. And, but these are these black Hereford, registered black Herefords that are kind of going to be the shower of the show in the next several years to come. The, the kids are going to also show these these guys locally. Um, so that's kind of why they're still up. I mess with them quite a bit, but they're pregnant. And we are going to be um, embryo transferring into our cows we already own. So these girls are going to become donors of their eggs, essentially. And then we'll put them in our cows that we already own and make more beautiful baldies. These are my favorite. Um, these chromy, chromy black ladies. I shouldn't call them that. I'm sure it's going to get flagged, but these chromy girls. Um, this one here, Martha Grace is out of, um, she originally out of Colorado, but um, the, the ranch actually moved to Nebraska. Um, and then she's from over in Illinois. So these girls came from the, the Royal Affair um, sale back in October. I'm really excited to be a part of the Black Hereford Association and what it's going to entail. Um, we have some exciting things coming for the year. I'm going to be helping with some some of those new and exciting projects within the association. So I just I'm excited about the Black Herefords. Um, for those of you guys that don't know much about the cattle, like the breeding and the, the back history. Um, to get these black baldies, you have to have an Angus and um, a Red Hereford. And back in the day, Red Herefords was what made up the cattle market in the United States before the Angus ever came over. So I'm, I'm just, I'm very passionate about cattle and the livestock. And I think I've mentioned it on before that I'm getting to go to AI school. And I'm just, the cow, I love the cows. And, I'm really excited to be able to take the horses over eventually this spring so that we can ride ride Leo through the horses and just or through the cows and just do different things. So I'm really I'm just I'm very blessed and I'm thankful for you guys. Come on! Hey! Ryder, let's go! We're gonna go check cows over at the creek farm and kinda just that's about it for today. Um I'm gonna go home and work for a while. I promised the kids I would make pancakes. And then uh, Keaton has ball games later on this evening. So just kind of keeping on with what needs to be done, chore wise. And uh, yeah, go from there. I really just want to see how good my camera works um, on zooming in these girls. If I can figure out how to do it. We're gonna call them this morning. Come on, girl! And then we'll come back and feed them after lunch. Monkeys! I hope you guys can see them as good as I can see on the screen. I love my cows. I just love them. Come on, girl!
Ciao. Come on, girls. Okay. Yay, Price. They do have two tanks in this paddock. There's a tank here, and then there's a tank way up at the other side. So they do have access to both. The other one was open, which means they probably haven't been drinking out of this one as much. Low. This one has fish in it. Let's see if we can't find them. Oh, there they are. Can you guys see them? Maybe not. Probably just gonna see me. Oh, there's fish. See them? There they are. We have goldfish in the tanks. And yes, it is 20 degrees. Yes, the fish are still alive. Beep, beep, beep. Mm. Yes. Come on, girls. We're just gonna do it this way. Oh, there's water on my camera. Already getting it acquainted. <sighs> guys look at them all they're just beautiful getting your feel mm -hmm. see, mama. Woo! hit the ice patch mm -hmm. okay. hello ladies if you all could just stand in line and tell me as you get a drink when you all are going to calve that'd be great not so much Actually, I think that one might be getting closer than I think. Okay, so I'm obviously still figuring out a lot of like um, the settings and the programming on this camera. So bear with me <clears throat> as we figure that out together. I am really excited to be able to show you guys a little bit more what's happening um, kind of at, I don't know, different angles. So this is really, really close to my face and it's very bright even though I mean I know the sun it feels nice oh we'll just take down the zero anyway um, we're gonna come back and feed the cows after lunch before I take Keaton to basketball so that's what we're doing I thought there were some other things I was gonna talk about but now I can't it's over my head not there.
patiently wait. Uh, pray they don't get out. Uh. 